two. Technically, I guess this is not day two. This is more like weekend two um, because Tony and I, for our last video, spent the whole weekend working in this RV to renovate it. So this is weekend two, but we're just going to go with it. So Tony is not here yet. He is on his way here from our rental home, um, which is like an hour and a half-ish away. And when he gets here, I'll have him hop on and say hi to you guys. But basically today and tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, our plan is to continue with painting and then also to do our like platform for where we walk in and out of the RV um, I did get some painting done during the week I am a full-time teacher if you don't know that so during the week after school I have a limited time that I can work in here but I did paint the top cabinets the primer and then um, the final coat so I'll show you guys that because it looks really good we did not put the fronts on yet I haven't painted the fronts fully yet I just have them primed so maybe that's something we can do today um, but I might you can <sighs> Can you guys see that? It's chilly in here. <laughs> but anyway, so I kind of just want to get a lot of painting done. The walls, more cabinets in here. Um, and also we might be putting a line out for our dogs that you can run around outside. As with everything, it's like you, you have an idea of stuff that you want to get done. And I don't know how much of it will get done. Um, but I, I know what goals we have for this reno video and the weekend and the whole thing. I'm probably wearing the same sweatshirt that was in my last video with um, the reno. And you know what? That's because this is now my painting outfit. It's deemed a painting outfit. I got paint all over my pants. They're covered and my sweatshirt's covered. And so this is my painting outfit. Okay, so Saturday morning. Tony's not here yet. I have to go eat breakfast soon, so I don't have that much time. I'm not going to start fully painting probably right now. I think what I'm going to do is start taping off areas that I haven't done yet. Um, and I also just want to update you guys and show you what I got done during the week. Alright, so this area, all pretty much done up top. You can see the beautiful white love it it makes it so much brighter and okay here's the dilemma though i painted the inside and i love it i really do especially for these shallow cabinets if you don't know rvs they have such shallow cabinets but then like randomly there'll be this really deep one so it depends but these are super shallow um probably just like coffee mugs spices whatever then it looks really good in those shallow cabinets i probably did not need to do it for some of these and yes it looks good but remember we are selling this afterwards so I don't think I needed to these ones here I'm probably just gonna paint the fronts of it to be honest and just save some time save my sanity um, yeah so I'm gonna start taping off all these areas probably now before Tony gets here looking for heaters and I really like this one <laughs> Tony's unsure so a few updates Tony's here hi <laughs> and we're at Walmart uh, we came here to get a heater for the RV and which we got which we did get um, Yay. <laughs> it was on a nice one that should be big enough come here Dixie and then we try to get in the car to go Dixie's pulling us around. <laughs> Tried to get in the car to go to a lumber store to buy wood to build the little our platform platform for the a Dixie's fake deck. leash is literally around us. <laughs> and our truck wouldn't start, so the battery because the battery was dead. So we're getting a new battery because our Walmart has an uh, auto center. So and the Walmart the was really sweet, and they came out and he tested and it tested and everything, it. and then um, helped us, and we were all the way out in the parking lot. So that was really nice. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. 
So now we're waiting with, we had Dixie with us, so we can't go inside. Um, outside, chilling. So now we're outside waiting. In the parking lot of Walmart. This is also like countdown time because the lumber store closes at five and it's five o'clock. Cur currently, what time is it? Like four twenty or something like that. And now it's not far, but it's the final countdown. <laughs> Hopefully, we want to get there because we want to start building it tomorrow morning. <laughs> as soon as it stops raining at like ten a.m. Instead of going yeah. there, I don't even know if they're open on Sundays. Unexpected. Things aren't open on Sundays in like the middle of nowhere. So I'm currently just trying to tire Dixie out. <laughs> So we have been running up and down this stretch. Dixie, are you tired yet? I don't Hi, think she is. Good morning, has. guys. It's Sunday. Uh, we just woke up. We're about to go outside. And all we did yesterday was paint. Lots and lots of paint. So we're going to go let Dixie out and uh, kind of go outside and check everything out. Good morning, Dixie. It's snowing! Hey, look! How pretty! Oh, there's that mud under there. Oh, God. Slippery? It's so, yeah, it's so muddy. I'm coming back up. Yeah, so we woke up to snow for some reason. We weren't expecting it. It's beautiful! And it is beautiful out. It's our first snow in the RV. Uh, I wish we had it winterized, but it's not actually that cold, it's just snowing. So this is the second time that we've slept overnight in the RV. Um, it's not skirted and ready for winter yet, so that everything doesn't freeze. But even with that, so we don't have water connected to it. But even without that, it wasn't that cold. Um, we're using the propane heat uh, and keeping it pretty low so that we don't run through our propane. But we have a heated mattress pad, and I think that is... The most important part. Hello everyone. So <laughs> it is now legit snowing and Tony is up on a ladder. Ah! I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just threw snow in my face. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so he's up on this ladder because we totally left the awning out because well we didn't know it was gonna snow today. Um it's legit like I don't know if you can see that, but a good couple inches or so, and this was all supposed to be rain, so it's very unexpected. But Tony, when he's he took the broom and was pushing the snow out, I was standing right there, and it all went right on top of my head when I was filming this, as you might have seen. So now we're problem solving how to fix our awning. RV problem number one. First, first RV problem, unexpected snow. We weren't ready for it. We're going to keep the awning in. Anytime there's a chance of precipitation of any kind, rain can always turn into snow. But look how pretty. But look how pretty it is. It's like a winter wonderland. So surprise three inches of snow. <laughs> uh, our tarp collapsed, our awning. We got the snow off of that, and then it popped right back out as so we reeled it in. These we're not going to bring in because they're just our slide out, so we gotta get the snow off of them. Put them melt, and I wanna get the snow off of the whole roof. So this is what we're gonna be doing instead of building our deck out front today. And there's a ton of stuff up here that I can't step on, like all the plastic vents and stuff, so I gotta be careful, because I don't really, I've never been up here before, so I don't really know where everything is. Hey guys, so it's currently Sunday afternoon. Tony and I have been painting all day, which I will either insert a clip or I'll show you later. Um, what we got done inside. I think we're gonna go in a little bit later too and finish up even more. But now we are currently outside and we are not going to build the platform for our entryway today just because it's so muddy, it's so wet from the unexpected snow that we had. We're unloading the wood from our truck, We're just kind of setting it out for next weekend. Next weekend is Thanksgiving, so we have three days. There's Tony unloading the wood. Say hi. He can't say, oh my god. <laughs> so next weekend we have 
Thanksgiving, we're gonna be with family, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we have three solid days to work on getting the RV ready. And I have a feeling it won't be that long until we are both living in the RV. Um, we just have, I don't know, I just have a feeling that's gonna be soon. So we're trying to really get things done. We need to also put on some skirting next week so that it's ready for winter. So we're making moves. Even though winter's already here, apparently. Apparently winter is here. Any Game of Thrones fans out there, winter is not coming, winter has arrived. <laughs> So, three inches of snow, uh, our plans got trashed once again, just like last time, um, but we did paint all weekend. So we got a lot of painting done, uh, we're working on the finishing coat in the whole living area. We didn't start the bedroom yet for anything. Or the bathroom. Um, bathroom. Or the bathroom, it, yeah. It's like a little tiniest little bathroom as a count. <laughs> Better than no bathroom. Yeah, it's true. Um, and we got the lumber to build the front little deck <clears throat> thing so we can wipe Dixie's paws off and take our boots off and stuff. Yep. But it is just a sopping mess because as soon as it started and it's snowing, it just all melted. So yeah, it was unexpected and um, you know, that's just how it kind of sometimes is. You just gotta roll with it, but. And we'll pick it back up after Thanksgiving. We're gonna pick it up after Thanksgiving. I was telling them Thursday is family day and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we are gonna be here and we're gonna be working. So. Work days. Yep. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Don't forget to like the video and we'll see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.